These videos are a stream recording hybrid. Random commentary based on the stream chat may be found. Stupid gifs found from the stream chat will also be found. Viewer discretion may be advised. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition the Director's Cut. So, in the last episode, we went and uh, did a bunch of side quests, including driving a crazy lady in her pot of boiling stew back to her home before it uh, cooled down. I don't get it either, but in this one, uh, like right at the end of the last one, we found out that apparently there was a ghost under Anna's tree, and they found a photograph of this ghost, which is just Anna, and who I'm assuming to be... Uh, the one chick from the bar who's probably her lesbian lover. Uh, yeah, assumptions, assumptions, but I do have a few things I need to do here under this tree. The first things first is I need to come over here and a can of pickles. Yes, I'm literally just going to pick up this can of pickles. Well, it goes in my toolbox, but you know. Infinite spawning pickles is just kind of ridiculous. Why would they even put that in the game? So, it says that we're supposed to come here uh, during the early afternoon, which, since it's 11.22, it's not technically early afternoon on a sunny day. So, let's, uh, let's pop out some cigarettes. Right about one. No one here at one. Um, real quick, before I actually spe speed up more time, I'm going to run around the corner here. Because I saw a dog bone over there, and I'm kind of curious what that's about. There's a dog bone on the map and a blue spot over here, so maybe I can summon forth the dogs who will fight for me? I don't know. Right foot bone? Did I just actually find a bone? A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Yeah, I'm gonna say that finding a human bone shouldn't be something that you're just like, oh, this doesn't look related. It should be, oh, I should probably, like, make note of this right now because there could have been murders years ago that happened. We would not have no idea about it. All right. Well, time to smoke more cigarettes. I'm passing the time. I wish I could think of something that rhymed. But an hour and a half passed by. Still no one here. I am sure that's what it said, right? Someone's walking in Anna's forest in the early afternoon when the weather is clear. Give this person the out-of-focus picture. Let the twins know once you have found who the ghost is. Okay, can we complete this chapter? I... Okay. Well, I have no idea where this person is. It's no longer early afternoon, it is 2.30. So, you know. Maybe I miss them, maybe they're only here for a short amount of time between like 12 and 12.30. Where's the heaven? There we go. Heaven Hell gas station because I need to give away a bunch of my money. 
Zach, we need to go to Muse's gallery. Yes, I know where we're supposed George to be said going. To take the... And this isn't the person I was hoping to come out. Uh huh. Talk to me, baby. Yeah, that's what I figured. She's completely useless. But I still get eighteen dollars for talking to her. And we get her again. Now let's do it again. Jack the Raging Bull, you coming out? There we go. Can't believe I'd ever want him to be the one coming out. Let's give him a bribe. I've been waiting for you, Benjamin. I've got a good one for you today. Don't go around spreading this one. I'll tell you another one when I see you again. <laughs> and Lily, to answer your question, no. Eleven would not be considered afternoon. Because it's not afternoon. Let's get close, but not quite in there. All right. Fill her up. And bye. Seriously though, this guy is a terrible human being. And his wife is stupid. Then again, that's probably why she's married to him, because she's not smart enough to realize he's an idiot. Like, one of the worst people. And here's another side quest that I can do. Wasn't he just... Oh, okay. I will not be able to talk. Did I pass him? Oh, was he in a car? Hey, Kason! Get off the road! I said, get off the... There we go. Dang it, I forgot it doesn't park there. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Well, the gallery closes at 1700, but there's no real reason to hurry. We need to pace ourselves for an investigation like this. Well, I forgot Zach, that it need to go auto parks to off to the uh, side. George said to take the road along the lake and go north. Come on. Kaysen, where are you going? We have Nastasia Kinski in the lead role in Paul Schrader directing back in 1981. That's right, Zach. Cat people. About a woman who turns into a leopard when she falls in love and then eats the person she loves. I thought it was what? romantic. Real romance right there, Zach. <laughs> Nastasia was perfect for that role. Casting her made that movie a success. Alka McDowell as her brother was also a good call. He's like a panther even without any of that special Hollywood makeup. Now the name Malcolm McDowell rings another bell. You know the movie I'm talking about, right Zach? Don't tell me you're thinking about Clockwork Orange. Malcolm McDowell, come on, it's pretty obvious. Blue Thunder. Came out in 1983 and was directed by John Badham. Malcolm plays the bad guy in that one. He just totally outshines the hero, Roy Scheider. At least I think so. I have to say, not many people agree with me about Blue Thunder. Zach, if you disagree with any of my opinions about movies, just come out and speak your mind, okay? Just speak your mind. 
I'm not much of a talker, obviously. Seriously, though. It takes way too long following this guy. He's heading up to the nature preserve, isn't he? Dang it. <sighs> following a guy up a mountain trail. And while it's happening, I'm going to play this song. Yeah! How lucky for me. Well, he hasn't moved in a little bit, in like five minutes, so let's see if he's down here out of his car. So he was coming up here, he was just not moving for a while for some reason. I'm gonna get out of my car here because I need to teleport somewhere. I'll have to fast travel back there soon. But what I need to do is I need to see if Keith is home. I have never been to Keith's house. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, Sanders Graveyard, duh, Nick's house, Emily George, Gunsmith, Quint, Richard, Keith is not home, actually. So I may be able to do Emily's quest tonight, but I cannot do uh, Zach, we need to go to Muse's gallery. This one said to take like, road the Keith's the one. Go north. Probably has to be raining all day for that to happen. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. Seriously, why is this guy such a slow driver? He's getting caught on everything. You see this, right? He's actually faster when I'm driving nearby. This is kind of insane. Hurry up, Kason. What are wrong? What's wrong with your wheels? Uh. Oh, if you turn. Oh, you son of a dick! You better not be leaving after all this. Are you stuck? Um. He's trying to drive up the wall, guys. Kaysen doesn't want me anymore. He's leaving. Kaysen, no! No! Kaysen's dead! Oh my god, Kaysen's dead! Kaysen fell on the wall! Oh my god! He's gone! What? Oh my gosh, she's actually not on the map anymore! <laughs> oh no! Well, that sucks to be me. I didn't even do anything. That literally was not my fault. <laughs> but I still broke the game, and now Kaysen's dead. <laughs> I hope he wasn't important. Um, rest in peace, Kaysen. Uh, you will be f you will forever be missed. I'll be sure to put on your tombstone that you fell out of the planet. Okay. Well, apparently you're not allowed to drive your car through there. That would be bad, and gay. Okay. You know, I think that's one of the many reasons to love this game. You can literally just watch somebody fall out of the planet. I really hope he actually respawns tomorrow or something. Because if he doesn't, I, I can't complete this game. 
like, legitimately, I don't think I'm able to complete the game without Kaysen. I'm fairly sure he's an important character. Also, I totally just... Whatever. Let's try fishing here. It says there's a quest. Nope, nothing on that bite. Oh hey, it's now raining so hard that fish are actually jumping out of the water. Nothing on that bite either. Maybe the fish don't like my rod or don't like the bait I'm using? Oh. That looks like a bite. Come on. No, no bites. Dang it. Messed up. I wonder, am I supposed to be trying to get the present or the fish? Because apparently most of the ones available are all wine breaks. I did that one too early. Since it's all on the farthest to the left, I can actually just time it, instead of having to predict it, like I had to do with the previous one. Seriously though, I wish Ryan was here to tell me that uh, everything was going to be okay, and that him falling out of the world was perfectly normal and wouldn't affect my gameplay any. I don't think that was perfectly normal, but, you know. Got the big fish. Well, my fishing rod isn't good enough. Now that fish was huge. You only see something like that in the countryside. I bet I'll need a better rod to reel that monster in. We need to find someone who knows more about fishing here. The legendary Tabitha. Let's see what it says. You'll never catch Tabitha with your current fishing rod. Borrow the legendary fishing rod from Jim and try again. Tabitha appears near the waterfall only on rainy days. Alright, I'm gonna go access it then. Jim should be at home, so... Hey, Jim. You and I need to have a little bit of a chat. Can I ask you something? I have nothing to say if it's about murders, victims, and killers. No, it's about something else. About fishing. 
fishing. I saw a behemoth-sized fish in the river. A real whopper. Did you catch it? Oh, no. It was far too strong for my line. It ripped the lure right off. Yeah, just as I thought. No human would be able to catch her, at least not that easily. You know the fish I'm talking about? Her name is Tabitha. She's been protecting the peace of the river for many years now. Tabitha? She's a special one. Probably some kind of king salmon. A variant or a mix of something. She's been seen in these parts for over a decade now. A normal king salmon would only live about seven years, of course. And there's no real explanation for it. I think there's a special reason for her existence. You know, like nature trying to warn us about something. You said that she's kind of like the keeper of the river. Catching the keeper is every fisherman's dream. You gonna try and catch her? If I get the chance. His Just book is through his head. Uh, did everyone see that? I'll lend you this. It's the rod I used when I was younger. Real sturdy piece of work. Are you sure? Yeah, if you fight Tabitha with a weak rod, you might end up just getting hurt. If you do manage to haul her out, though, I want to see her, you know. Could you bring her to me? Of course. I'll just use my hammer space and stick her in there. The Rod of Legends. Okay. Uh, no, the front door's right there. Alright guys, let's go catch the Keeper of the River, Tabitha. Ah, there's my car. I was like, uh, is it not going to give me my car back? Really, I just want an excuse to drive down here and almost crash into an invisible wall. Zach, we need to go to Muse's Gallery. I know where you want me to go, York, but I don't care. The road along the lake and go north. Let's hope I can catch Tabitha. Was it that one, or was it the one down here? Uh, it probably doesn't matter which, but I'm gonna head down here all the same. Now, like I was saying, the Rod of Legends. Using this, throw in. I seriously like this music though. It's really catchy. That looks like a bite. Haha, <laughs> got her on the first try. Yep. And just like that, I caught Tabitha. Look at all these scars. You've been protecting this river for a long time, haven't you? I knew this day would come. What do you plan to do with her? I think she'd be lovely smoked. Yep. Smoking your own catch sounds like the makings of a very tasty appetizer. But even the pair of us could never eat this much smoked salmon, right? Toss her back in. You might Just... regret that later. You're not going to see a fish that big again anytime soon. All the oh, same. I have no regrets. I capture criminals, not fish. <laughs> I bet she was glad, you know. Glad that you're the one who caught her. <laughs> Just keep the rod. Think of it as your trophy for catching Tabitha. That's pretty much how I feel when I catch fish. I don't really like killing them and cooking them up. Completed. Legendary Tabitha. Ah, that's a good feeling. 
there was a gift to get here, so I'm gonna do that now. The Rod of Legends with a normal worm. No bites for me. Dang it, failed it. Did it one too late. Alright. Try it again. I like how catching the uh, presents actually harder for me than catching the fish. Got the present. Took two times, but it's fine. You caught a Jim Green. Excuse me? <laughs> I caught a person? I have a few questions about this. But I'm actually gonna look at that card since it doesn't auto show you. Um Jim Green. I don't know who that is. Oh, Jim Green's the guy I was talking to before. The old forest keeper. He finds the body of Anna with Isaac and Isaiah. He's Lily's father and the grandfather of the twins. Huh. Didn't realize that. Then... The other one we got was Polly, right? Yeah, she's right there. The owner of the hotel, a bit on the pushy side, but full of good intentions. She enjoys talking, but is hard of hearing. She looks like she's devious. Alright, let's see. Are there any other things I want to do before ending this one off here? Actually, yes, there is. The final one I want to do is I want to go see if Lily's available tonight. I'm not Lily, Emily. I was thinking of Lily as in, like, you know, Lily Ingram, the mother of Isaiah and Isaac, and the daughter of. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, uh, Emily's house. Let's fast travel there by having George pick us up and, you know, not going where they want me to go. And then just wait outside our house smoking for four hours. Because that's what you do when you want to talk to somebody, right? Um... Use one of these. Oh, I'm sorry. Six hours. So it might take me two cigarettes. Or maybe not. Okay. I am really... I'm really low on uh, my rest, my energy. But I'm going to ignore it for now because I'm going to be going to bed soon anyway. Hey, Emily. Emily, Emily. I'm gonna hit all your stuff out here. So you talk to me. Actually, wait, I want to use cigarettes, not the radio. Yeah, apparently she's still denying access to her home. Apparently I'm still not allowed to do this. Great. Well, guys, next time, let's play Deadly Premonition. I'm going to meet you guys back at my home here in uh, Greenvale, and 
try to solve a bunch of murders and stuff by talking to an art curator to see if she's the one who's been sleeping with Anna Graham and uh, end up uh, getting her killed and stuff. So guys, see you guys next time. Seriously though, that fish was awesome and also that guy is completely dead. <laughs> Heading out to save now. What? How did I... Oh, come on! Son of a... Ah! Guys! See what just happened? Do you understand what just happened to me? See all those things I did yesterday? They don't exist. They don't even exist anymore! I hate my life.